We're here in Toronto and we thought what better place to do a food tour. Toronto is such a diverse place. It's the most diverse city in Canada and the largest city in Canada. And it has, it's such a melting pot of cultures and different foods. So you have Thai, Mexican, Indian, Japanese, Italian, whatever you want, they have it. So for our first location, we are going to Fua Fua Pancakes right here and gonna try some Japanese style pancakes. to kick off our Toronto food tour is Fua Fua Pancakes. They do Japanese pancakes which are extremely fluffy and thick and we wanted to get them possibly in Japan but it's on the back burner so we're like let's try them in Toronto. We got their signature it just has cream and some fruit on it and we're really excited to try it. First bite. Oh. The texture is crazy, it like dissolves in your mouth and it tastes, it tastes like they use powdered sugar actually in the pancake because of how light and airy it is. Really good. And the whipped cream is really good and homemade. I can't even tell you how fast we're devouring these. So we definitely stopped a few more places and got food, but we just didn't eat in. So we're in the car right now to try some food because a lot of the places were more like pickup and didn't have good seating. So we just figured we'd try them here. And uh, the second place we got food was called the Burgers Priest. And we went there to try some poutine. We, our plan was just go to McDonald's, get some cheap stuff, but we're like, eh, you know, let's try and get something a little better. So we got some poutine and we're gonna try it now. Second food place we stopped was the Burgers Priest. Like I said, to get some poutine. So we're gonna give it a try real quick. Dig in, Matt. This is not a finger food. This is definitely a fork. If you're not familiar with what it is, it's french fries with gravy and cheese. Yeah, cheese curds. It's actually not bad. It's pretty good. I mean, how could it not be? It's like mashed potatoes and gravy, except mashed potatoes, it's french fry. So we got this one of the Burgers Priest Burgers here. It looks like it comes on like a grilled cheese roll. And just gonna give a quick review. This really wasn't what we went for. We went for poutine, but we're hungry, so got a burger too. It does kind of taste like Shake Shack. Mm. I would say it's like Shake Shack level. I don't know if this is a chain, but if it is a chain, I would say it's Canada's version of Shake Shack, which is not a bad thing. Shake Shack's very good. We thought we were fine with the burgers. We had everything we needed, but we passed by this place and it smelled so good. I'm not sure the name of it actually, but I will put it uh, in the video once I go through and edit it. So we'll link that there, but these are Venezuelan like pastries. I think they're called pastitos. And we got a traditional Andean one, which I think has beef in it and a peach caramel one, I think. Oh, I can't exactly remember, but uh, that way we have a little bit of dessert to round it out. And it came with a little cilantro sauce that will probably be amazing. Oh, I thought this was the beef one. It's the peach one. I can't say, I don't know, not biggest fan of the sweet one. Maybe the 
hefty traditional Andean will be better. The dough must much better complements savory ones. It looks like there might be rice in this and maybe pork. But if you look here, it's got a lot in it. It's pretty hefty. This cilantro sauce, so good. It's really good with this. I forgot to review the coffee I got from a place called DeMello Coffee. I wanted to stop there because I saw online they have this real cool looking package. Uh, it's called a lollipop blend. It's supposed to be a really cool fruity blend. They didn't have it available to make. It was just in the bags and bean form. <clears throat> Which might be a little odd about that place is uh, they only offer like espresso based drinks. There's no pour overs or anything like that. So I got an Americano, which is just an espresso shot or two shots of espresso and hot water added to it. <clears throat> and I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was a light roast and it had really good flavor. But I'm really excited to get back home and try the lollipop blend. It sounds really interesting. Yeah. Just look at those holographic kitties. So cute. They had lots of merch there. It's a cool bag. Yeah, it is a real cool bag. <laughs> That's all the food we're gonna try for tonight, but we'll catch you tomorrow at the famous St. Lawrence Market. We're here at St. Lawrence Market and we're going to head in and try some food. First stop in St. Lawrence Market was the Carousel Bakery. It has had the same spot in the market for over 30 years and a lot of people make the trip to the market just for this special sandwich. It is an authentic Canadian dish food invented right here in Canada. It's called the Pea Meal Bacon Sandwich but we got it with an egg on it so it's more of a complete breakfast but basically it's this lean a uh, thick piece of bacon and it's a type of back bacon and they cure it and coat it in cornmeal and fry it. You might be asking, why is it called pea meal? Good question. So when it was first being made, it actually used to be coated in crushed yellow peas. So that's why it got the name pea meal because it was coated in those peas but we're very excited to try it. It's a very uh, um, original Canadian food and it looks really tasty and a great breakfast starter. I'm gonna try the bacon part itself first. Mm. That's good. I'm not usually a big fan of pork products, but it's moist and tender and not a traditional bacon it's more like just the sickly tastes like traditional ham it's like i really can't tell the difference between it and like a good ham you can see the layers of pea meal bacon in there and this is a very good little elevated breakfast sandwich so if you're looking for a breakfast to start your day head to st lawrence market and get the pea meal bacon Montreal Bay. Second place we went in the market was a place called Churrasco. It is a Portuguese uh, little restaurant in there and they have regular food options too like some really interesting sandwiches but we came for the world famous Portuguese custard tart and I think it was a dollar eighty-five Canadian dollars, but we're gonna try it here and 
Give a review. Whoa. Whoa. That shell is amazing. So crispy. And usually with like custard tarts, it will taste really eggy. But this is more like puddingy texture. It's so good. Oh man, we might have to go in and get some more of these. It has a real nice vanilla flavor, perfect little sweet treat on this Saturday morning. really nice Canadian family and they actually told us happy Thanksgiving and we're like what and then we found out today is actually the Canadian Thanksgiving Day so that's why it might be a little more crowded than usual but I imagine this place is a little busy anyway but they recommended us to get this one coffee place downstairs so Matt got a mocha and a double shot of espresso and he's gonna give it a try Tastes like the espresso I've been making at home. I bought an espresso machine. I wasn't sure if it tastes like how it should taste. So it's good to know. Oh my god. <laughs> well, I spilled espresso all over Rachel, so that was fun. We yeah, just... my nice clothes. <laughs> but I think we cleaned it up good enough. The espresso is okay, I guess. I'm not sure how espresso should taste, but it tastes fine. Oh, you're not sure how espresso <laughs> should taste? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure about the mocha. Basically, this tastes like hot chocolate. Mm. I'm more of a fan of chocolate milk tasting mocha than. I wonder if they just put a hot chocolate powder in it or something. Probably just the chocolate sauce. Hmm. Yeah, it's okay. It's not not bad. This right here is a very interesting sake company that we wanted to try, but I'm not sure if we will or not, but it looks really good and had really good reviews. So we walked in there. There wasn't much space at the bar to try. I wanted to try their different flights of sake. Uh, they offered where you could have three of their most popular, I think seven, all seven of their flavor. So we ended up getting bottles to go. We got a little cute cup too, but we won't pull that out. Yep, we got yuzu and apple cider. these nice sampler platters that have you can select lots of different meats or there's a couple vegan options and I think we got some chicken beef and cauliflower it came with fries and the fries actually have an old bay seasoning on them which is pretty interesting first one we got is the cauliflower and I think I'm most excited for this one the bread feels very soft and pillowy I love cauliflower fried like this. It seems like it has a hummus on the cauliflower one. Thumbs up. Next one we're going to try is the beef one. The beef kofta. It's like basically a little burger. It's pretty good. It's basically like a, really, like a little small slider. And it has tahini sauce on it. This one is the grilled chicken. It has a garlic sauce on it. The garlic sauce is really good. I can taste cilantro more strongly on this one. This one definitely is the most heavily spiced, I would say. It's pretty good. The one we got is a fried chicken. It has a spicy mayo sauce on it. 
it's a good fried chicken sandwich. And the mayo isn't too spicy, which I like. All of these were really good, but I think the grilled chicken is our favorite. So we stopped at Butter Baker. The ice cream looks incredible. It's soft serve and the smell in there is amazing. It smells like butter. And the flavor of this month was coffee. So it's vanilla with coffee swirl. And I don't know what that is on it. Caramely. Yeah, the caramel sauce. So I'm gonna try the coffee flavor. That's strong coffee. And the vanilla by itself. Mm. The vanilla is super smooth and creamy. Really good. So we stopped at Cheese Garden because we wanted to try the Japanese cheesecake, but they were sold out. So we got a strawberry cheesecake milkshake. I think it's yeah. Something like that. Yeah. We're gonna try that out. Pretty good. It's got a pretty strong strawberry flavor, and it doesn't taste <clears throat> artificial. I'm not a huge fan of artificial strawberry flavor, but this tastes pretty good. And I wanted to add. This place is actually in a big shopping center, a mall, and this mall, I mean, I haven't seen a mall this busy, and I don't know when. It is packed. We stopped at this really cool coffee place where they do pour overs. The other coffee place we were at, like we mentioned previously, they didn't do pour overs. It was just espresso drink. So it was kind of, and even the coffee place in the market was not pour overs also. I tried two different beans in my pour overs. Uh, one was from Colombia and one was from El Salvador. But I chose the Colombian one because it had a really smooth finish. Uh, and the barista even said it was her favorite bean selection. Yeah, he chose the Columbia beans to take home, but he tried both of them there as pour overs. And um, this place is called Ethica Coffee Roasters. It's very, very cute and trendy inside. And um, it's right beside the Museum of Contemporary Art. And I don't really know what all that entails, but I'm sure that's cool to check out too if you're in the area. And I guess this area is technically like by the Junction neighborhood. I think that'd be the closest. First actual food stop of the morning is Barbershop Patisserie. It's like one of the most highly rated bakeries I could find around in the area. And I know they're very famous for their cookies and this thing smells so chocolatey and you can just see the back, it's covered. It has so much chocolate in it, crazy. It's very rich in chocolate. It has a very nice crisp outer edge and a soft gooey center. Good chocolate chip. Uh, first, before we get into this, uh, I just want to apologize for our footage. It seems like it's being really warpy for some reason. Not sure why that's happening, but it's really sad. Um, this we have here is a raspberry almond bread pudding. Anything that has almond, we are super big fans of, so we had to get it. We should have got a utensil to eat this with, but we didn't. So I'm gonna try my best to bite into it. Let's see the raspberry, lots of raspberry in there. And I'll bite. This might get messy. Definitely taste the eggy custard. 
of a bread pudding. It doesn't, I can't taste the almond too much, actually. The raspberry, though, packs a punch. I think it would be better heated up. So maybe later on today, we, are, we should heat it up and try it at home. But right now, I think the cookie is the star of the show. Last thing we got was something savory, a hand-rolled chicken pot pie. It looks super flaky. Look at the layers. Got some pretty crazy layers in this pot pie. Now hopefully I can get to the filling. Mm, that's super good. The pastry is excellent. It's filled with chicken, peas, and some cut up carrots. This is, as far as pot pies come, this one is up there. We actually found some place to get our cheesecake since we weren't able to get it yesterday from Uncle Tetsu's. It's like bready texture. It is not, it's light and fluffy, but looks like angel food cake. It doesn't even look like cheesecake we know. Weird. It, it seriously does melt in your mouth and it's really not it's not that strong cheese flavor i would say our cheesecakes are more potent it's just like a light airy similar to angel food cake tastes weird to me i don't know how to describe this yeah it's nothing like cheesecakes we know So we like the Fua Fua pancake so much uh, that we came back to it today. Fua Fua means fluffy fluffy in Japanese and those things are fluffy. They use egg whites to make them so puffy and this time we got creme brulee and the custard on it was really good but oddly enough I think I prefer just the simple whipped cream and fruit better than that one but still very good. place we're trying is Eva's original. It is a Hungarian place and they make these crazy donut cones. They're called chimney cones and typically filled with ice cream but they also have some savory options. Got our cone here. Isn't this thing pretty? They have lots of vegan options in there. You can get vegan ice cream and their other stuff comes vegan like they have vegan mac and cheese and we were like oh my gosh we should have got the mac and cheese because we're a little sweet sweeted out right now we've had a lot of sweets so we're like maybe we should have got the mac and cheese and it looked really good but we got this it's the berry licious it has mixed berries and a cinnamon sugar cone i'll try the ice cream first mm, that syrup's really good Nice tart berry flavor, and the soft serve is pretty tasty too. We finally got to the cone part, so I'm gonna try the cone by itself. Oh man, it's not coming apart that easily. Whoa! The cinnamon sugar cone might be a little too sweet for me, let me tell ya. I think best course of action to eat this thing is eat all the ice cream out first because otherwise you're gonna have spillage coming out of the cone and uh, then eat the cone. Matt said the cone tastes like cinnamon toast crunch and it definitely has a crunch to it. But anyway, enough about the ice cream. We're gonna be heading to the next foodie spot 
at Kensington Market. We're heading into Kensington Market now. It's not really a market, like a building like St. Lawrence, it's just a neighborhood, but there's lots of food options here. It's a really popular foodie destination. Kensington Market is a hip and happen in place. There's music playing everywhere, lots of shops and restaurants here. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, there's lots to try here. Definitely come here. Really interesting place. And two of the places we wanted to try, which was a taco place and a breakfast sandwich place, is are actually closed because of the holiday, which is kind of sad. But we found some alternatives. Um, first thing that was open that we wanted to try was dip donuts and this place is pretty famous for its donuts and I've heard about it a lot uh, so we got the carrot cake one here they have some pretty interesting flavors and they're pretty deluxe really nice texture on the donut good carrot cake very nicely spiced I'd be interested to see what all the other flavors taste like the next place we got food from is from Rasta Pasta and their food is a Jamaican and Italian mix. Um, so this is fettuccine with jerk chicken. Hmm. It's actually pretty good. The jerk chicken is pretty good. The fettuccine is pretty average, but the jerk chicken is actually pretty good chicken. One thing I wanted to add about the Rasta pasta is that it had, they had really good looking curry there. Probably should have got that because it looked really good. But um, they have lots of Jamaican places in Kensington Market. So if you want Jamaican food, this, that's definitely the place to go. But other than that, that concludes our Toronto food tour. But like we said, we didn't get to try everything we wanted because it was really busy and some things were closed because of the holiday. But we had, I think we covered a good many bases. So. If you want to see some other places we checked out in Toronto, make sure to check out our other videos where we visit some of the top spots. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe.